Hello and a very warm welcome to you. I'm Hayley Palmer. It's so good to have your company with me this evening. I hope you're all doing well and we have a very special guest for you. Oh yeah, she's the queen of rave. It's Rosella. Rosella, it's so good to have you here in real life. Finally. <laughs> it's like... Is she real? Yes, she's real and she's beautiful. <laughs> oh, same here, but it's Thank honestly you. so nice because we spoke in lockdown yeah. and we were just saying it was lovely because it was kind of like a real highlight to have a little chat on Zoom, yeah. wasn't yeah. it? It, it was, was a really it nice was thing. Incredible. I mean, everyone was doing something to make their careers or their lives yeah. keep moving on. Uh, but it was difficult. But, you know, I felt proud of you. You found a way to do it and to do an interview with me and there I was sitting up my husband's <laughs> laptop and... We were very technical, it was, yeah, we were it technical was, yeah, goddesses, yeah, honestly. Yeah, and Hayley was saying, look into the camera and then have the speaker this and I'm going, <laughs> was maybe, I I, <laughs> maybe I should work in, you know, as a camera person or something, but... He, he may, it but turned no, out it's, great. Just, it's just wonderful to have you here. And I know Thank you've been really busy, haven't yeah. you? What have you been up to? Yeah, well, you know, after uh, um, the pandemic that we all went through, you know, everything sort of completely as a musician as a singer shut down and then we started going back um, and doing shows and it, at first it was shows where people had to sit uh, by their seats they weren't allowed to come to the dance floor um, it was just so strange but I was so grateful to be back singing and I remember one show I did you know uh, security were running around and telling people Stay where you are, stay where you are. And then, of course, Everyone you know. Everyone just wants to be like. I know, I know. And then, of course, I've got this song, you know, yeah. thank goodness everybody's free to feel good. As soon as the intro starts, everybody just ran to the dance floor to dance. And you've got security running around like headless chickens going, no, no, move back, move back. <laughs> but I oh didn't mind, God. I loved it. But, yeah. um, you know, so all that was happening. And now we're back to doing uh, the real shows. Yes. And uh, it just feels. Just it's wonderful. Good. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I know you had a Christmas song out that was on the Heritage chart. That's right. Read. That's right. I can say hello to him. Um, so talk me through this, because this is a kind of different style for you, wasn't it? Totally, totally. Well, because I've, I've got a new album coming out um, sometime this year. And we meant to release this album during COVID. Then, of course, COVID hit. You know, and of course, it wasn't finished. Uh, then we released a few singles in between that period just to keep the momentum. And then we meant to release the album late last year. Then Gary Simmons from uh, the, the label I'm on, uh, he runs the label, called Energize, said, um, we've got to release a single for the fans to let them know that you're still out there doing something. You've got a, an album coming out. And they said, how about we do a Christmas single, something I've never done in my entire life. And he sent me uh, a track by Nat King Cole, the Christmas song. And I'm going there, but that's Nat King Cole. <laughs> that, and, but as a singer, I always think any singer can do any type of song, but you just transpose it to work with the vocal level that you have. Mm. And so I did it in the style of you know, what I felt. And, um, and we re rushed, released it within two weeks. And wow. yeah, love that. We're going to take a little sneaky clip uh, right now. Here we go. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire Jack Frost nipping at your nose Yuletide carols being sung by a choir And folks dressed up like Eskimos Everybody knows a turkey and some mistletoe help to make the season bright. Tiny tots with their eyes all aglow will find it hard to sleep tonight. They know. It's 
been said many times, many ways. Merry Christmas to you. This simple phrase to kids from one to ninety two. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas to. Hi, Rosala here. The next song coming up is my single called I Feel It Slipping Away.
Now, Rosetta, we have to talk everybody's free because this reminds me <laughs> of that beat and uh, my school disco days. Honestly, yeah. I would literally run onto that dance floor. Everyone would. It's just that kind of song, isn't it? Do yeah. you ever go, oh, I don't really want to perform that again or do you still love it to this day? Do you know, there was a time um, when back in the... I think mid 90s or whatever when all the boy bands and the girl bands started having their moment and then uh, I was doing anywhere between five to seven club dates per week and you know keep in mind that's how I earn my living and then it all sort of started stopping and um, and at that time I was just thinking oh, if I sing everybody's free again I'm going to scream so all this stuff started happening and you know the saying you don't know what you've got until it's oh, gone yeah. or mm -hmm. almost gone uh, fortunately, Everybody's Free has not left me and uh, I'm so grateful for that song. And then, of course, you know, they started uh, wanting it back by doing things of I love the 90s. Um, you know, we love the 90s, get out to the 90s. And that's created a lot of work for artists like myself that had hit singles in the early 90s. So, you know, I will sing that song and love it till Aww. the day I die. Oh, we still love it. Is it Thank 30 you. years old? It turned 30 years old, I think, last year. My fans always How remind me. How is that me. possible? Yeah, they, they, they reminded me. I, I didn't know. Somebody messaged me on uh, Instagram and said, uh, do you know that it's 30 years old? Congratulations. So it's 31 years old now. 31 years. Same age as me, plus 10. Um, <laughs> and I love the words. I love the words. It's just, it's a feel-good song, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. That's what it's all about. And we all need that kind of, like, you know, encouragement Absolutely. sometimes, Absolutely. Don't we? I remember when I, I did Everybody's Free to Feel Good, I worked with, uh, they were known as a band of gypsies, mm. Tim Cox and Nigel Swanston. I always say they're my angels, oh, you know, wow. and when we had a meeting, uh, they, they loved my voice and they asked me, what style of music do you want to do? I said, I want to do songs that are, you know, upbeat and up-tempo that people want to get up and dance or if they're sitting on their seats, they, want, they can tap their feet and clap their hands and I wanted lyrics that were positive mm. so if you listen to the everybody's free album the majority of all those songs and lyrics on there are very uh, positive and therefore everybody's free to feel good brothers and sisters i think yeah. that that's for everyone all over the world however you take it it's just a positive lyric yeah yeah we love that and how many views has it got on youtube because last time i looked <sighs> i mean was it about 50 i don't you know i get I get shocked. My fans sort of keep me in check, and uh, I it's think jar. it's just it's crazy. I know I, it's crazy. I think on um, Spotify, for instance, I think there's nearly 29 what? million streams. That's insane. Yeah, yeah it, it's insane. Uh, the video, I don't really know. I haven't looked for a while, but I think it's well, in the millions. Let us know. We want to know. I, it, it's, it's just beyond me. I just <laughs> honestly, I just think somebody's. Just added a few oh, more zeros at no, the end. We and love it. <laughs> we love it. And we're going to play it right now. Everyone, hands up in the air. Everybody's free.
So we had the Christmas song, and there's also, this is an exclusive, by the way, we're good to you here. Uh, we have a new single. Yes, it's called Lot of Love. Uh, it was done by uh, Nicolette Larson. Um, sadly, she passed away many years ago. Um, she was very young, and I think the song was released in the 70s. And so uh, um, Gary said, you know, listen to the song. In fact, actually, it was my husband. He said, you've got to listen to the song. And uh, why don't you cover this track for your album? Um, and I listened to the track and I played it to Gary and Gary's like, oh gosh, we've got to do that. We've got to do that. So that's the next single. And uh, I hope I've done justice uh, to it for uh, Nicolette Larson. Well, we're going to have uh, a little sneaky peek clip of this. Enjoy. Rosella, we've got some fun facts oh. about you. We'd like to oh. elaborate. They're all lovely facts, don't worry. I think I've got them all right, but anyway. Um, okay, fact number one, you always wanted to be a singer. All my life. Yeah. All my life. Uh, all my life. There's something inside you, isn't there, when you know like that's your thing that you should be doing, don't you think? Absolutely. And, you know, what that's told me is, you know, and I speak to parents, when your child shows a certain type of talent, you know, uh, from young, nurture them, you know, because a seed has been planted in them from when they're young. And you can't always tell. Sometimes you can get into adulthood and really not know what you want to do with your life. But when you can see a child has a talent from young, nurture that talent. And because you just don't know where, where it goes to. And, you know, coming back to me all my life, I just wanted to sing. I, I used to tell my mom, my dad, my aunts, my uncles, I want to sing. And one of my aunts who was a singer, um, sadly she's, she's passed on, oh. she believed in me. 
Oh. You know, and you need that person. Yeah, to, absolutely. Yeah. She believed in me, and whenever she had, you know, a barbecue at her house, she'd get me to come and sing for her friends. Um, she got me first, my first few gigs and a children's television program wow. in Zambia. That's that's where I was born and grew up in Zimbabwe, and uh, so she helped to nurture me. And my mom was uh, also a, a big fan, but her fear as a parent was, oh, but the music industry is drugs, sex, yeah. and rock and roll. You know, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mom, honestly, don't worry about me. She, fun. Yeah, she was, she was very protective, but she was also very encouraging. Yeah. And, and one of the things uh, later on, as the, the years passed by, my mom said to me, you know, if I had enough money, I'd buy you a whole band with backing singers and dancers <laughs> and just put it out there for you. And I thought, yeah. wow. That, so that, that stays with me today. Yeah, today. of course. Okay, fact number two, um, you can play the piano. Well, yes, oh, yes. We're not going to make oh, you do it right no, here. No, no, don't. I... <laughs> I'm still, honestly, I'm still, as far as I'm concerned, uh, a beginner. I fortunately I passed my grade four, you know, um, piano. That's good. Yeah, yeah, that's good. It's better and than my chopsticks, <laughs> I can say. <laughs> so I'm playing all this classical music and Mozart and Beethoven. I'm going, what am I doing? So I'm playing all this, but it's um, it's a tough instrument to. Yeah, people make learn. it easy, but oh, oh, it's really tough. It's a skill. And, yeah, it's a skill. Yeah, it's you've got to keep practicing every day. So yeah, so I've given it a break, and uh, maybe I'll start. Yeah, you know, looking there to you go. Twenty twenty three. You never exactly, know. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, back to myself, we have to say this. You've supported uh, Michael Jackson on his Dangerous tour in nineteen ninety two. You told me this before, and I was just like, tell me that story again because this is pretty hard to beat, isn't it? It is surreal. It will continue to be um, the highlight of my career to have supported Michael Jackson. I mean, going back years ago when I was in junior school in, in Zambia, you know, uh, we loved the Jackson 5. Yeah. I just thought, they can't be real, they're incredible. And then of course, the Jackson 5 became the Jacksons, and then Michael Jackson branched out and became the Michael Jackson. Fast forward years later, here I am supporting wow. the biggest star in the world at the time, in 1992, and I did, I think it was, 43 uh, dates across Europe on his European leg of his tour. And he personally chose me because I just signed on to the label he was on. Yes. And uh, I remember being uh, in the offices uh, in New York and I got a call saying, you got to get back on the next flight because Michael Jackson has chosen you. I, I mean, mean it must have felt like a complete dream. Like. Total, till today. And I've got pictures of uh, myself and him in my office and I look and I just think, I love that you said to someone thought it was you at Madame Tussauds. I know, right? I know, I know. Some people, some people have, have seen the pictures and they're like, did you go to Madame Tussauds? I'm like, no, I genuinely supported Just him. to confirm. I think I've got the one at Madame Tussauds. <laughs> <laughs> and also Billy Ocean, 53 dates. Yeah, with Billy, him. Oh, I mean, that was... What a wonderful yeah. soul of oh, a man oh, he yeah, is. Oh, yeah, and voice. You know, Billy, um, it, he's that type of artist, you know, each song that he did, I looked and I thought, I know that song. Mm. I know that song. Yeah. I know that song. And his whole show was, I know that song and what a voice. And I'm so grateful to him that he chose me to support him because at the time I released, which is my dream album actually, uh, and it's called Brand New Version. I've always wanted to do something that was easy listening jazz and mid-tempo. Mm. So therefore I did uh, Brand New Version and Billy kindly um, invited me to tour wow. with him. And last fact, you performed on Top of the Pops eight times? Yeah. Is that yeah. right? Yeah, eight times. I'm fascinated Surreal. by this because I still love Top of the Pops. And Surreal. I'm still living back in the day because I'm like, Thursday night, can we watch Top of the Pops, please? Yeah. Like, it's just, it was just good days, it? Wasn't was it was amazing. And, and it's, you know, I know times change, changes, change and life moves on. And, but I think that's sad that we don't have Top of the Pops anymore. It is anymore. sad. I always say, let's do the petition. Let's get yeah, it back. Yeah, I think so. And, and, and you know, um, it gave me the opportunity each time I performed on it to meet other artists yeah. you know like which was reunion. incredible yeah. and and I got to meet uh, Sting Ooh. and uh, we were on the corridor and I'm going that's Sting and that time we didn't have iPhones I had my little <laughs> Kodak camera and uh, <laughs> I'm like take pictures of us and this friend of mine is taking pictures of Sting and I in the you corridor don't know and, come out or not. and then I got <laughs> home and oh. there wasn't a spool oh no so I had Oh, how times have changed now. Now I've got the iPhone, I'm on the radio. Yeah, yeah, she's got the 12 Max, it's yeah, great. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go into If You Say It Again, uh, which went to number five on the Billboard Club Dance Chart. That was yeah. a result. That was a complete shocker. 
because uh, that was before I even recorded the album I'm about to release and any of the singles. And the song was sent to me by a songwriter, a very talented songwriter that, that's based in uh, America. Never met the person in my life. He just sent me the lyrics and the music and said, look, I love your voice, what do you think? And I thought, why not? I'm not doing anything. So um, he hooked me up with uh, some producer, went to the studio, recorded the track, and I sent it back to him. And he's like, we've got to release the song. So I sent it to my promotions team. And they were like, we need new mixes, you know? And uh, got these mixes done. And then I had a friend who, well, he became a friend who looked after me when I was signed to Sony. Uh, in New York. He's like, I hadn't heard from him for over 20 years. He was my A&R guy. He's like, I can get mixes for this done, you know, and he got about several mixes done. Um, and the one mix uh, he released in America on the Billboard charts, and we didn't know what was going to happen. And it, and it went in at 30, and then it continued to climb. And I'm just going, I haven't had any chart success at that point for like the last 10, 15 years. You know, and uh, Frank said to me, um, it's at number 10, and I think that's it. I'm like, I don't, that's fantastic. You know, <laughs> if, it, if it goes any higher, that's just bonus, but Aww. we weren't expecting to. And the next thing, number wow. five. Love it. I so, love this song. Yeah. So let's have a little look. If you say it again.
we've got some questions from some of our lovely viewers, Rosella. Uh, Sam says, what advice would you give to people coming into the music industry? Because he's trying to get into the industry. And he loves I, would, I would say, you know, um, it's a tough industry. But then when I look back at the early 90s, I've always thought it's a tough industry. And uh, so all I can say uh, from my point of view is never give up. It's wise words, actually, because when, there's, when you really want to do it, you won't, will you? Yeah. You keep yeah. going, whatever happens. Yeah, never give up, you know, because what else isn't tough about life? Mm. You know, whatever you, your career you're, you're in, uh, never give up and just keep your eye on the ball, keep focused, you know, uh, listen to your constructive criticism and don't be upset by it. Um, and yeah, and just keep putting one foot in front of the other. Yes, liking that. Inspirational chats here on the show. And Leah says uh, she loves uh, you doing ballads as well, oh. uh, as well as your uh, pop stuff. Is there any chance that you could maybe do another ballad in 2023? Well, on the album, um, when Gary and I spoke, you know, we've got a, a mixture of uh, songs that I've co-written, songs that are covers, and some real down-tempo ballads. And having uh, done the Christmas song, because it's a, it's a ballad really, and then of course we've got the swing um, mix as well. A lot of people have written in, which is so flattering. Are you going to bring out an album just on ballads? You know, because your voice really suits that style of music. And uh, I remember, you know, many many years ago, my dad, who's uh, passed away since, mm. always said to me, "Look, you know, you can sing." When you do uh, up-tempo dance tracks, you know, your voice is good and you sound great. But when you do ballads, that's when your, your wow. voice is really showcased. So um, it is hold, hold that, hold that, hold that, hold that space. <laughs> we'll keep you posted. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go into Faith in the Power of Love. Uh, now, this was released after Everybody's Free. Yeah. I love this song as much as Everybody's Thank Free. You. you know, everyone obviously always says that song. But yeah. this one is, for me, equally as, like uplifting thank you i you know when a song other than everybody's free is mentioned like i love faith in the power of love or i love are you ready to fly i get quite thrown because it's always yeah. everybody's free so i feel so flattered and in fact faith in the power of love was released before everybody's free oh. and that went top 75 and i remember thinking oh but it's a good song it needs to go higher and then everybody's free was released and then of course the rest is history okay. and then Faith and Power of Love was re-released and that oh. went, uh, I think, it re reached number 11 yeah. uh, in the yeah. UK charts. Yeah, yeah. wonderful. Wow, everyone, up off your sofa. <laughs> We've got you down to this one. Enjoy.
Now, I want to talk upcoming gigs that you've got because obviously we're kind of back to normal now, which is lovely. Uh, where will you be in 2023? Well, I've got a few gigs in the diary, which is really fantastic. And some of them have been the spillover from you know what. <laughs> mm. And uh, my gigs, uh, I start getting busy. I would say starting from March. Yeah, so is it the I, picture drain on Saturday 11th? Yeah, yeah, yes, I've got that yeah. happening. That's that's incredible. I've got the Butlins gigs, which I absolutely oh, I want to love. come to one of those. Everyone says to me, Hayley, you'd love it. Hayley, you would absolutely. <laughs> I'll be looking at you and going, I don't know her, because you'll be like, uh, yeah. <laughs> that's just me every night of the week. <laughs> you, it is, they just, some of the most amazing gigs that I've done from years ago, and um, they've been good to me for so many years. So I've got quite a few of those happening uh, over the next year. And uh, I've got quite a few coming in um, in the Scandinavian territories. Oh. And Spain has been wonderful to me as well. So I've got yeah. quite a few gigs where, you know. Good. Yeah. She's back. I'm back, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go into Turn on the Light. Uh, this is about you being in the music industry, isn't it? Yes, yes. That actually, uh, my husband said to me, uh, you know, when he heard the music, and we were, I co-wrote that one with uh, two other songwriters. And he's like, why don't you write something that's semi-biographical? So when you listen to Turn On The Light, it's talking about me and um, a little bit of the ups and downs of the music industry. You know, when I sometimes go on stage behind uh, closed doors, I'm like, I might feel down. You know, and you have up and down moments. As soon as I go out and the fans are like, yeah! It's like adrenaline, oh, isn't it? The adrenaline, yeah. you forget all that and, you know, turn on the light. Mm. And when I sing Everybody's Free, they sing it with me and it's just a euphoric feeling. So, therefore, that's how Turn on the Light I love that. It's like born. a gift you have, isn't it? You were meant to do this That's job. right. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm here. Really I'm here. That. Well, do keep us posted on everything. You can check out Rosella's uh, website. We'll put details on the screen below. Uh, so keep an eye out for the single. Yes. Keep an eye, on that, uh, an eye out for the piano. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> maybe. 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 Um, but no, this has been so wonderful because like we said, we've done this over Zoom, which is not the same. Yeah. And yeah. I just thought you were a beautiful soul. And Thank you very so talented. much. I, so I really appreciate this. Thank you. No, we've loved having you here on the show Thank tonight. You. It's Rosella, Thank everyone. You. Huge thank you to Rosella. What a show. And just wonderful to have your company with us here on tonight's show. Now, I will see you same time, same place next week. Stay safe. I'm Hayley Palmer, and I will see you then. to me.